welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my next installment of my inventory and yes there is a very large cow on my bed. It was a birthday present from my husband that my kids helped pick out so yeah. I have a thing for butterflies and cows. Go figure. So yeah. That is Beauregard S. Vine short for or Bovine short for that if you uh you know get the joke in the name. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's my new friend back there. I'm, I'm a dork. I get it. I'm okay with it. I'm living it. Um, I have my face makeup today, all of my complexion products, all the non eyes and lips stuff. Some of it's a problem story of my life with my inventory. I am going to have pictures again, same as I did previously in all of the other ones for, I think I've done hair, body, skincare, nails so far, and then today we're doing all of the face or complexion products. So I am just going to do this in the order that I took the pictures, which is the way I have my makeup set up in my inventory. I don't know why I do it that way. It's just the way I do it. So let's get into this. First one, I have my primers. I currently own three of them. Three. That's not bad at all. And um, I'm I'm totally okay with that. On the left, I have the Dr. Brandt. That is the Pore Refiner Primer. That was um, gifted to me from Misty. And then I have the Hourglass Vanish Primer that I got in PR. And then the one that I'm currently working on, on the right, is the Catrice. This is my like favorite primer that I have found so far. I'm not sure if it's going to be my end-all be-all forever, but I love it like... It, it works for me even in the hot months, which is a good thing. Um, so the Catrice Prime and Fine Keep Me Matte, that is that is the one that I think that I will have done by the end of the year. If it's not done, it'll be close. So I'm not worried about it. I've only got three. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. All right, moving on to the next picture. I have all of my foundations, and I have a lot. I have more than I probably should have, 12 to be exact. Um, on the left, again, those are the ones I am not working on. The two on the right, I am currently um, panning in some project or another. One of my six million projects that I'm working on. At the top, I have the Alme, which is, um, it has medicine in it for, you know, breakouts and stuff like that. I got that in PR. I have two of the Catrice, HD liquid foundations. Um, then I also have ColourPop and Essence, the Essence Mousse, which I have not tried that one. It is a little bit dark, so I might try it this summer and see if that works for me. On the bottom row, I got all of those in PR. I have the One Size, which is Patrick Starr's brand. I have the Pure Lease Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream. I was supposed to be getting, I have two of those. Um, that I got in PR. I was supposed to be getting a different one. They sent me the wrong one. So now I have two of those. The Rose Ink, which is a serum, a tinted serum foundation. And then the Exuviance, which is, um, it's kind of like a BB cream, but it's a fluid. So it's a little bit thinner and um, it's, it's a slightly more sheer finish to that one. And then on the right, I have ColourPop that um, it's a little bit warm for me a little dark and a little warm for me right now so that's a summer color for me and then the Estee Lauder double wear is the one I am currently wearing and um, I also got that one in PR so yeah 12 is a little high it's definitely higher than I want to have in my collection but um you know I will use them I, I'm not afraid to use them and I don't feel like any of them are very old I think the oldest one in there I got for Christmas a year ago. That's the Catrice and the Essence ones. Everything else is newer than that. So I'm not really that worried about them at all. All right, next picture we have the concealers that I currently have on the left again, not panning on the right, I am panning. Um, I have the Alme Clear Complexion Concealer that came in PR with that foundation. And then I have a Catrice and an Essence. Those I got at the same time as I got the other foundations. So those are just over a year old. 
On the right, I am panning the Rose Ink and the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and um, those I got in PR as well. Okay, on to the very next picture so we can get through these quickly. Those are my color correctors. I only own three color correctors. I am working on three color correctors right now, and um, they're in painting projects. I, I probably shouldn't have them in painting projects because I only use them when I need them, unlike a foundation where I would put that on every single day. I don't need color corrector every single day. So um, yeah, they're just gonna take some time to get them done. I don't know that I would repurchase the lavender or the peach again because I feel like even though I can use them periodically, I don't need to use them enough that um, it warrants really having them in my collection. The green, though, I do get a lot of redness in my face, so I would repurchase that one or another one. I'm not necessarily um, married to that one, so to speak, but I do definitely like to have a green color corrector in my inventory. All right, let's get on to the next one. This is my extensive collection of face powders. I know, it's a lot. This used to be a problem category for me, and um, once I got my skin under control, I, I don't feel like I need to have a bazillion powders anymore. So on the left, I have the Catrice HD Baking and Setting Powder. Not working on that one currently. And on the right, I have the ColourPop, which is a peach. Not really the right color for me, but um, I wanted to try it. I like the powder itself, not the color. And then the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. So I do expect to have the ColourPop and the Essence one done this year. That will leave me with one powder. I'm okay with that for now. Um, it'll definitely get me for a while. I don't know if it's my child or my dog that is messing with my door, but um, making a lot of noise. All right, moving on to the bronzers. Not really a problem category for me, so I'm happy about that. I have five total in my collection. On the left, I have all of my Hula bronzers. They're all depotted because I did not like the big bulky packaging that it came in, so I depotted everything and have them in that magnetic palette. And on the right, I have the Smashbox, which um, I am currently panning. Hopefully have it done this year. If it's not, at least I'm gonna make really good progress on it and it will definitely get done next year. So I'm not worried about that one at all. Five, that's not too horrible. All right, let's move on to the highlighters, which <sighs> it's a problem. It is a problem. And the numbers are slightly skewed on this and I'll explain in a minute. According to my inventory, I have 11, but as you can see in the picture, three of those are actually palettes with six pans in them. So the number's slightly skewed on that because of the way I have my inventory set up. So I would need to add a little bit onto there. Um, let's see, on the left, I have two of the Majesty palettes. Uh, that I did not purchase. They were sent to me mistakenly and they wouldn't take them back from Shop Miss A. So they're in my collection. I will eventually get to use them. I also have two Becca's, a ColourPop Super Shock highlighter there. I have to the bottom left, I have two Bare Minerals. Those are Gossamers. I have the Elf highlighter, which is probably one of my favorite highlighters. It's Moonlight Pearls. It is baked and I love it. it is, it's just like the perfect color for me. And then to the right, it's technically an illuminating powder, but I use it as a highlighter because I don't like illuminating powders because my oily skin illuminates itself quite enough on its own. On the right, those are ones I'm currently trying to pan. The One Majesty palette, like I said, has six pans in it. And then the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. I'm only attempting to hit pan on that one, so that one's not gonna be done. But my goal is to have that one Majesty palette done this year, if I can. And there there may be some multitasking and franking, frankening going on with that one because I don't need a bright gold, like, like bright yellow gold on my face. And um, the pink, that's, that's not me. I might try to franken them together to see if like the really warm and the really cool work together. Who knows, if not, they're gonna probably go into a lotion. All right, blushes. Blushes is a problem. It is a big problem. I have 29. See, I'm not as bad as Misty, love your girlfriend, but you got a lot of blushes. Um, 29 is a lot, but um, I do have some small ones. So on the left, 
let's go through these quickly. Top left, I have all bare minerals loose. Then below that, I do have four bare minerals. Those are the Radiance. They're kind of a little bit more shimmery blushes. Two of the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek blushes. And then I have a mineral one from e.l.f. Below that is the Milani one that Misty just sent me recently. I have three depotted ones in that little magnetic palette. One is Essence, one is Catrice, and then, of course, there's Tarte Party in there. I have a mini Clinique, a mini NARS, and then my one and only, like, cream, like, true cream, not like a Super Shock formula, is the Pure Lease Blush Glow BB Cheek Color, which is really pretty, but is definitely going to be a summer color for me. And then on the far right, you'll see I have two duos I have um, from Coastal Scents. I plan on having those done. So those count as four blushes for me because there are four pans. Even though they're tiny, they still count as a full blush. I have a Tarte Party that already has pan in it. And then another Bare Minerals at the very top that is going to be a really good summer color for me. So... Even though I have 29 right now, my goal is to have six of them done this year. Again, they're small, those four, but um, it's going to affect my numbers a lot. So we'll see how that goes. It would be nice to um, really make a good dent in those. I'm really trying to get like the smaller ones and the deluxes worked on so that it will bring my numbers down and give me a little bit more space back into my, my drawers here. All right, is this the last category? Yes, last category. It's been enough. Um, for setting sprays, all two of them. I know, it's a lot. Just take a good look at them. They're going to be up on the screen for a while. Not really. But I only have the two, and um, I like them, but I don't know that I'm in love with setting sprays. I mean, if I have them, I use them, but I don't feel like I truly need them because I don't do anything so active in my life that my face is going to wear off other than sweating out in the garden, which I don't want to wear makeup out there anyway. But um, I, I just, I think unless I was to have one of those kind of setting sprays that really just locks everything in and I need it for a specific event or something like that, I don't know that they really do a whole lot for me. I know there's a lot of people that swear by setting sprays. I just don't feel like they, like most of the ones I've tried really fix my makeup in place. They just kind of meld the powders together, and my natural oils do that anyway. So, I don't know. I don't know if I would ever purchase another setting spray unless I was to buy, like, the Urban Decay All Nighter for an event or something like that. I just don't feel like I need it. So, two of those, I suspect those are both going to be done by the end of the year, which is kind of cool because, um, you know, anytime I can reduce my inventory, it makes me a happy girl, especially since, um, you know... By the time this goes up, I don't know if this is going up right before my birthday or right after. I think it's going to be the day after my birthday, most likely when this goes up. Um, I am supposed to be getting a box from Misty <laughs> for my birthday, and I know her. You guys have seen my friend mail from her. It's going to damage my inventory. I know it's going to do that, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens. I will end up doing a... Um, what I got for my birthday because I know my kids are getting me makeup as well. So I'm just, I'm going to have that video all on its own. And I'm thankful that I'm filming this before my birthday, even if you guys are seeing it after my birthday. All right. I'm going to wrap this up. I will have eyes and lips coming up soon, very soon. It's a busy week because it's my birthday and it's my daughter's birthday. So, and then St. Patrick's Day is two days later. It's just a busy time in our house. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.